Welcome to a, another tutorial on how to rig an avocado in Blender to make it do all of those things you saw in the animation. So we'll make it roll, we can make it squash and stretch, we can make it jump. So first we need a, an avocado. I grabbed mine from Quixel Bridge. It's pretty quick to just export a model into your scene and there it is. Let's set up our units to be something that makes sense for the scale of an avocado. So let's make this centimeters. And let's save our file real quick. We'll call it avocado rig. I already have a few versions, so let's version up and save. So step one, name your avocado, avocado mesh. And then let's align it to the grid floor. Let's start adding some empties to control the rotation and transformation of our avocado. Our first empty will be the master controller. I'm scaling it down in this size options rather than in the viewport because everything needs to be at a scale of one. Let's call this transform controller. And speaking of everything being at a scale of one, let's apply the scale of this avocado just to make sure. Alright, let's add another empty. Make this a cone. Scale that down. Rotate X on the 90 degrees. And we'll call this base pivot controller. And then let's add another one at the center of our avocado. Make it a sphere and we'll call this center pivot controller. We want to have a lot of freedom in how we animate this avocado. Cool. And then add, let's add yet another one at the center. Make it a circle. Scale it down. This will come into play later um, for the procedural rolling that we're going to do. We'll call this roll controller. All right. It's a little small. One quick tip before we go any further is how to do squash and stretch. All you'd need to do is add a maintain volume constraint make the free axis X and when you scale it up and down it'll be squashing it'll be stretching let's set up our parenting situation first we will parent our avocado mesh to the roll controller then we'll parent the roll controller to the center pivot controller and then we'll parent those to the base pivot controller because when we rotate this around the base we want the center pivot to stay at the center and then we'll parent all that to the transform controller so master transform and there you go next let's make this avocado roll so that involves a transformation constraint on the avocado mesh and the target will be the roll controller now we want to map from the location on the x-axis to a rotation on the y-axis. So the way we're going to do that is we're going to set location x minimum negative 18 centimeters x maximum 18 centimeters and then we want to map to the y-axis using the x-axis and then we're going to map negative 18 centimeters to negative 360 degrees. Sorry, we need to change this to rotation first. Negative 360 degrees, not centimeters. So now when we move this avocado, it should be rolling. Now we need to map the positive to positive 360 degrees. When you drag it back and forth, there it goes, rolling. 
but it does stop rolling at a certain point when it reaches negative or positive 18 so just click extrapolate and it'll roll forever Whee! next we need to make this not intersect with the ground that would be a pain if you just were going to animate it by hand so here's a workaround we're going to cursor to world origin and we're going to add another empty single arrow scale that down and we're going to set it to be in front so we can see it all the time we need to parent it to the transform controller and also call it um, surface finder the idea is to find where the bottom of this mesh is so we can use yet another constraint called the shrink wrap set the target to the avocado mesh and then we set the mode to project negative z-axis in world space and it should stick on there and just for good measure let's click um, project opposite because if it were to go above world zero then it wouldn't stick to it anymore Now let's make our avocado mesh do the inverse transformation of the surface finder. But we can't just do that to the avocado mesh because it would create a dependency loop. So we're going to duplicate that avocado mesh and we're going to call it avocado mesh proxy. Let's make it wireframe. Let's remap the surface finder constraint to the avocado mesh proxy. Now we're going to add a, another constraint to the avocado mesh transformation. We're going to make this copy the transformation of the surface finder. So we need the target to be in local space and the owner to be in world space. We're going to map from the Z axis to the Z axis except it'll be inverted. So negative one equals one and one equals negative one. And click extrapolate. Now if we roll this, you should see it moving upwards. Which is fantastic. And now we just hide the mesh proxy, which is what this service finder is sticking to. And we don't even have to have to think about it anymore. Now animating this rolling is as simple as moving the master controller, setting a location keyframe, and continuing the process. I hope this tutorial was useful, and I will see you in the next one.